What's good guys? This is Carlos the Colombian guy. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. And today, guys, I would like to bring the updates and a little bit of information about Medellin, Colombia, fellas. Well, actually, it's not a little bit, actually, it's a lot. So you better sit down behind the screen because this is gonna be like a cold shower for a lot of you guys. And officially, the mayor of Medellin, the government of Medellin, has prohibited the prostitution in Parquilleras for six months, guys, six months. So also, uh, the clubs will have new rules. All the clubs had to close by 1 a.m. in the morning, guys. You guys might ask yourself, like, what the government is doing this? You already know, like, all this bullshit, you know, record the government, all of that. Locals are tired of many things. And two days ago, they found an American citizen inside of a hotel with two minerals, fellas. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know about that. But this was caused, you know, the mayor get mad and shoot down all this shit. So prohibits the prostitution is going to be prohibited, like I said, for six months. And let's see how it goes, fellas, because I know... I knew this shit was coming, so let me read this story to you guys. Don't be mad with me, cause I'm just bringing, I'm just bringing you guys another you know, update, so I don't have nothing to do with this. I don't tell the mayor what to do, guys. So let me read this story to you guys. After a scandal over a tourist phone with two girls, the mayor office of Medellin decreased prohibition in areas of El Poblado among the Missouri's announced are the prohibition of the practice of prostitution for the six for the next six months and restriction in on the hours of entertainment and establishments. I promised during a press conference held last Sunday, March 30, uh, 30, 31st. The mayor of Medellin, Federico Gutierrez, announced this Monday drastic measures to con uh, counter the sexual exploitation of girls, boys, and, and teenagers in the city. A moment ago, the local president, the local mayor, announced that uh, announced that his office decided to prohibit the demand or request for sexual service in related activities in community in community 14. Community 14, Poblado for uh, um, in Community of, uh, 14 and Poblado for six months. Uh, specifically, th this measure extends to surroundings of Parque Parque uh, Parque El Poblado, Provenzas, Parque Vieras, and surroundings areas. Like a the president, the, uh, the mayor announced that the commercial rumba and the entertainment venues that operate in the Parque Vieras area will have today. We we had the permission to work until uh, until um. The week hours in the morning rebook, re rebook and will only be able to uh, have the doors open from 1, 1 a.m. to uh, uh, 1 a.m. from uh, 7, 7, 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. initially for one month. This means source and all the provisions, provisions will be made officially through the decree that, this, the, uh, that, the, that the district will publish soon. So the decisions made by Gutierrez arise as a result of the serious problem on a child sexual exploitation that occurs in the city, especially in this ex in this uh, exclusive and tourist sector, and a situation that reached reach it is peak this weekend when a U.S. citizen was found inside a hotel with two girls of 13 and th of 12 and 13 years old, fellas. Hey, like I say, let me let me let me let me drink let me drink my let me let me drink this a little bit and then you know I give my humble opinion about all this shit for us. Um you know what I'm gonna tell you guys? I knew this shit was gonna happen. I knew and I was selling one of my humble, you know, like he, he one of my humble that was with me last week, you know, he's from the also and he visited off of Medellin and I told him like bro don't surprise yourself if the mayor decides to shoot down the Parquilleras and all this shit. What's not just the Parquilleras, you know, Central, all of that, like all this place is going to be shut down. Prohibits prostitution going to be prohibited for six months. You know, either like, even like it's illegal in Colombia, but they can prohibit, you know, that in some place so they can see like if they can reduce all this shit, all this thing like with the, you know, child, you know, child, sexual exploitation, all of that for us. But, you know, I blame also like, I don't want to, Cause you know, like, 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 nobody in general, like, 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 um, I'ma say, like, 
I don't want to blame just, you know, just one person or something. It's just a lot of people involved, you know, a lot of YouTubers, you know, recording that, a lot of TikTokers, you know, recording the women, all of that in Medellin. So there is so many people behind the screen, you know, there is some guys that they also, you know, they are looking for, for several uh, relationship. There is other people that, you know, that they have like, you know, feeling something with the see mirrors, you know, all of that. So like, like, you know, like, you know, these people posting all of that in social media, which I don't blame, man. I don't blame them because, you know, at the end of the day, they're trying to get views, you know, they're trying to make the money, you know, everybody, you know, got to make the money. But, you know, what this, like this type of content, you know, this type of comments, you know, what made all the people think is like with money, you can have everybody and anybody in Colombia and everything's going to be all right. So, and then like you have all these people, you know, coming, coming down here, you know, thinking like, like I say, you know, everybody has a prize. Everything's going to be all right. This is a total world country, you know, all of that. And, you know, this is what causing, you know, all of this, all of the, all of this, um, all of these problems, you know what I mean? But also, you know, I blame, you know, also, you know, some families like they also part of the game. They know what's up, you know, what all the people we're doing against their kids, but you know how they've been taking care of. They, they don't really care about that fella. So. I hope you guys, you know, like, hey, this was like, I, I think the mayor, I feel like it. That, this is what I feel like. It. I feel like the mayor was waiting on some shit like this. Like, you know, like they found like this guy, you know, with the two minors in the hotel. So the mayor was waiting for something like this. He was like, fuck it. You know, now I'm going to hurt this shit now. So, you know, he decided shoot down. Everybody and their mama going to live now. A lot of people going to be hurt. A lot of business too that they are not even a part or this, but you know, uh, he might think like you know, and I'm for him because you know he's been he's been frustrated, you know, with all this situation. He doesn't know how to do. He doesn't know where to go. And he was like, oh, you know, let me just shoot down this shit and then see how how you know how uh, how this is gonna go. All of that for us. So yeah, I know like some of you guys would be mad, 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 mad as fuck, mad as fuck with the with the mayor for us. But you know, that's the only thing you know. He has to do, guys. I know the traction has been down now. A lot of people is going to cancel their fly, you know, all of that. Sad. I, I feel sad, you know, for the ones that couldn't come, you know, all of that. But, you know, this it is what it is. It is what it is. If you couldn't come, if you waited to this year, it's too late. It's a wrap. You better travel somewhere else. You know, if the woman sees the main attraction where you travel for Colombia, you got to fly, you know, somewhere or the are in Philippines anywhere but you know this is gonna is not gonna be the right place to be at because things are not looking good i'm not looking good in this side in that side of colombia fellas and yeah guys you know like i was like you know because i was making a video and then i saw that you know i was like you know let me just make like this it's a fresh meat this just came out from the refrigerator guys so yeah man like hey you know, like, if you, you, I mean, like, you are thinking and go to Medellin, all of that, just think can have fun over there, but, you know, things going to change now. I'm telling you, you know, telling you the truth, things is going to change a lot in Medellin, so you might won't, won't be able to see the environment that you used to see before. That's how life is, you know, you got to keep going, fella. So, yeah, guys, that's all, all I wanted to bring to you guys. I wanted to make it short because it's short, 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 short new, you know what I mean? And, and, and you know, I didn't want to make like a long video, none of that, fella. So, hey, also, you know, the clubs, the clubs, the clubs going to be closed like by 1 a.m., it won't be not nobody over there just police around making sure you know everybody shoot down the shit like like the clubs bar all of that so you know now life won't be the same again in Medellin till I guess you know the next six months so let's see how it goes I hope you know like like uh 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 well let's see if he, this mayor is not like the one in Cartagena like, he was like oh you know this next two weeks they're back in the game they could get back in the game because. Prostitution is legal in Colombia, but like I said, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes, fellas. Guys, that's all I want to bring to you guys. I hope you guys like my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you know. And, and, and thanks for everything, guys. You know, thanks for the love, you know, that you guys showing me. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all of that, you know. None of this would be possible without you all behind the screen watching me all the time every day. I really appreciate that, guys. So, you know, you guys been helping me to grow all week uh, my channel for us. So, hey, if you, any day, any time, any moment, any seconds, you guys come to Cartagena, Colombia, don't forget to hit me up. I own a tourist company. We offer tourism. Movocano, Palenque, private jazz, you know, private boats, all of that. We know I got you in the city. 
I also gonna drop all my paper information if you wanna show me some logo yeah, but I'm not begging for money so I'm good made this in money in Colombia but if you wanna do that if you wanna do that just go ahead for us so guys that was all for today guys this is Carlos the Colombian guy